What's going on, everybody? It's your Ath Geek, Uche Waneri here. And while you were sleeping, uh, Justice is Great, the black and white version of Zack Snyder's Justice League, the original version that he had uh, before they got the green light from HBO Max to complete his vision. Uh, he left Warner Brothers after the tragedy with his daughter, and he kept that on his laptop, a black and white version of the Justice League that would be known as Snyder Cut. Uh, but at 3 a.m. this morning, uh, HBO Max dropped Justice is Grey on their streaming service. Now, uh, let's take a look here real quick. This kind of snuck up on people because nobody was really ready for this. Like, uh, there wasn't any announcement that it was coming. Uh, we didn't know until last night. Uh, Grace Randolph was one of the people who first put that out there uh, that Justice is Grey was going to be dropped uh, the next morning. Uh, and, you know, really did catch people off guard. So once again, uh, Warner Brothers, they're trying to kill any momentum that they have, that there is for the Snyder Cut to continue. But, you know, we're going to keep doing what we do. We're going to keep fighting for it. We're going to keep using the hashtags. We're going to keep drawing attention and getting this thing to trend uh, so that they have no choice but to look at it at the very least uh, so that they know that the fans have a demand out there for it. Now, the funny thing also is that even with them dropping this at 3 a.m. in the morning, uh, it's still trending third in the United States. Uh, let me refresh here to see where it's where it's at now. Uh, it is fourth. Right now, Justice is Gray is number four trending in the U.S. It says fans gear up for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Justice is Gray, a black and white version of the director's cut to drop on HBO Max. Now, to get this thing trending in the top five in the U.S. and not even have any kind of marketing at all, any kind of real notice uh, that this was about to drop, uh, that's remarkable. That's just another show of the kind of fanfare and the kind of hype that this entire uh, Snyder Cut on HBO Max movement has has garnered. There, there are people who have a real thirst for seeing more. Everyone knows about the statement that was made the other day by the CEO of Warner Media. Uh, she is saying that this is the end of the road for the Snyderverse. Now, uh, that may be it. That may be the final word. We don't know yet. But as long as we keep on using the hashtags, keep on showing support, uh, then there's going to be a demand to see this universe fleshed out. They're running a multiverse now with DC Films. So at the very least, uh, I think that you could have the Snyderverse operate in a separate realm, a separate ver uh, universe, uh, and have it you know, as an HBO Max original, have it as a number of different series, maybe spin off some character series off of that. There's always these opportunities to grow uh, the the audience and grow the viewers for HBO Max if you're continuing to go after things that are showing you obvious potential for future gains. Uh, but yes, Justice League, Justice is Gray, just dropped on HBO Max. Let me know what you guys think. Have you seen it? Have you taken a look at it yet? Leave your comments down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the App Geek Uche Waneri. Appreciate you guys very much and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.